So this is question two, have a go. Now, we are told that x minus 1 is a factor, so basically when we substitute 1 into this, there will be no remainder. So we start off by doing so, so basically wherever we see an x, we replace it with a 1, that gives us this. So um, substituting in, working our way through, that gives us this, so a plus b equals 7, which is what we knew. Now we're also told that when it's divided by this we get a reminder of 9, so basically this is telling us when we substitute minus 2 in, remember there's a change of sign, when we substitute minus 2 in we get a remainder of 9. Substituting minus 2 in, getting a remainder of 9. So working that through, that gives us a second equation involving a and b, so we have two equations, two unknowns, so we can solve this as a simultaneous equation by substitution. So taking our first one here, let's make A the subject just by taking away B from both sides. Let's call this equation 1. We substitute this into our equation 2, so we replace the A with a 7 minus B, which we've done over here. We've now got an equation just with um, one variable in it, b, so we can solve this. So multiply out, remember the claw, eight times, minus 8 times 7, minus 8 times minus b. Um, so multiply out, gather your terms, we get b being 5. Substitute back into whichever formula you wanted, so we substitute back into this one as it's easier. a and b together are a 7, but as b is 5, a must be 2.